the captain of the Windies team and he decided to bowl first these are the two teams the Windies without T20 superstar Christopher Henry Gale some big names in there Evan Lewis uh, Marlon Samuels Rockman Paul Andre Russell two players left out uh, Chadwick Walton Sheldon Cottrell for Bangladesh a very even team alongside me at Ali Khan yeah I like the look of this team uh, they've gone with uh, quite a lot of bowlers they have a very go good depth in batting but if you look at the seamers it must Mustafa is Rahman and Rubel Hussain will lead the attack the seam attack if they need they can have Ariful Haq who's come in to uh, bowl the seam and there's Shakib Mehdi and obviously Nazmul Islam the left arm uh, orthodox spinner and they have also in hand Mahmudula so they've got a pretty decent lineup and what about him Tamim Iqbal wonderful wonderful one day series play of the series with scoring 287 runs but he wants to get better in this format he's got a hundred was against Suman but uh, he will be uh, need to be at his best to ensure that they have a flying start uh, with him so Mushaka gets another opportunity 36 matches for him good strike rate but he's just been out of sorts, out of form. Initially not picked up in the squad, but the team management from West Windies wanted him to be a part of the T20 setup. Ashley Nurse, uh, the option chosen by Carlos Bratwe to open the bowling. He's been a part of this uh, T20 team in recent times. Carlos Bratwe opted to take pace off the ball. You usually see for the windy Samuel Badri open the bowling. Carlos Bratwe uh, getting exactly what he wanted to do. We spoke about uh, bowling first, giving himself a chance uh, to chase. Uh, and this venue, because of it being fairly small, very difficult to defend totals here. First delivery, stumped Dinesh Ramdin gets into the act. And the Windies, they cock a hoop. What a start for the world champions. I was a little bit surprised to see Ashley Nurse taking the first, uh, the white new ball, bowling the very first delivery. Have a look at this. Was short, he went down the track straight away. And he was nowhere near when the bills were taken off. And a delight. To actually not delight for Windies. And they'll be very happy to see the back of Tamim Iqbal, who's gone for naught. Bangladesh, not for one. Litandas uh, virtually opening the batting because uh, his teammate just faced up uh, one delivery. Dominic Bal gets it through. Nice shot. He'll get a boundary. He's an aggressive player. And this will be a good response by Bangladesh to the fall of the wicket of uh, Tamanik Bal. Yeah, the, that you should please the fans in, in the ground short and wide played it late i thought the key was to play it late and away from that field played it a little bit finer lovely touch he's got lovely hands if he gets in he can score runs quickly short one but uh, what a start for windies uh, darren and uh, that too from a man who's been in tremendous touch just misjudged the length he was probably premeditating a bit and didn't make no contact at all a first 
in terms of T20 International. It's the first time a player has been dismissed, stumped of the first ball of a T20 International match. Ashley Nurse uh, being a main part of it, and so too Dinesh Ramden behind the stumps, making no mistake. What was uh, surprising to see that knowing that he was the in really good touch with the bat in the ODIs. Bulem, yeah. Bulem. What a start this is turning out to be for Ashley Nurse. It was a fuller. He stood, played back and missed it. Straight away gone through. Another wicket goes. Just look at the length. This is a length that you should be on your front foot, but he's giving himself room because he wants to score square off the wicket. Doesn't make contact. Ashley Nurse and the Windies, they don't mind. Wicket number two. Shumo Saka goes without scoring. It's five for two. So four deliveries, uh, two wickets uh, for the Windies. The captain, Chucky Balasan, he will have some repair work to do for Bangladesh. Ashley Nurse, the destroyer. Yes. Gets off the mark. This was the wicket. Atta, what was he doing? Well, he had no clue whatsoever. Should have been on the front foot. Surely, surely. Getting back into the team, getting an another opportunity and another failure for Shomo Sharka. Yes, sir. That delivery to finish the over. What an over from Ashley Nurse. Uh, six runs from it and two important wickets. It's six for two. Openers are back in the pavilion. Windies will be happy with their decision to open the bowling with Ashley Nurse, his partner from the other end, Andre Russell. The nursing a little bit of a niggle on his knee. Missed a couple of the one day international matches. Now back for the T20 internationals. The boat openers, I said, uh, got out without scoring, and it's the third time that this has happened for Bangladesh in T20 internationals. Yeah! Dropped him. Could have been wicket number three. Marlon Samuels looked like a sitter and put down. What have you done? It's a straightforward catch. Off the bat of Shakib Al Hassan, in and out. Cannot believe it. That is very, very poor indeed. Bangladesh could have been three down in no time at all. And who's the one who's dropping uh, the catch off uh, Shakib? 
Marlon Samuels uh, hasn't played uh, international cricket for a while as well having a knee operation and back not able to hold on would have been a big wicket for the Windies just went through his hands didn't close in time probably misjudged uh, the pace on the ball as well no excuses for dropping that catch absolutely no excuses for that it was a sitter just a regulation catch perhaps just uh, going down the leg side but uh, what a start this has been for Windy's first and foremost what was uh, Tamim Ibal thinking first delivery yeah. way down the track misses it if you miss it you're gone and then this could have been on the front foot trying to play it closing the face of the bat on the onside misses it completely two wickets in his very first over what a start nice pace from Andre Russell well I spoke about it being the third time that both openers uh, were dismissed uh, without scoring for Bangladesh in T20 internationals it's also the first time that both openers have gotten out of the first ball they have faced in T20 internationals. So many firsts. Ashley Nurse, uh, chief architect of both wickets. I also have a feeling that this, uh, this is a little bit quicker tonight, the pitch itself. It has gone ball slowly moving in the air, and that's a really good carry to the keeper. So, as a batsman, you need to be on your toes, you need to be a little bit more watchful. It's hard, patches of green, and it looks solid. And uh, it's certainly zipping through. That's what happened when uh, Sumo Shaka was uh, bowled by the spinner, it zipped through and hit the stumps. Oh yeah, good pace, Andre Russell. In addition to the pitch looking very firm, whatever moisture will remain because it's cool. Two of us gone, eight for two. Very good contest on hand. Bangladesh not starting well. Litton Dash, Shakib Al Hassan. The middle order will have a lot of work to do. This is a strong Windies T20 squad team, which is eight for two. This Windies squad uh, accustomed to playing this format of the game. And this guy as well, Samuel Badri. Knows about bowling the new ball in the power playovers. Oh, yes, Russell. Good, Louis. Good, Louis. Yeah, just a single yeah. over for Ashley Nurse, where he picked up two wickets. A bit of a surprise yeah. to see Badri into the attack because I thought perhaps maybe one more over. Certainly deserve one more over from Ashley Nurse. Again, going down the track, they need to be careful here because they've already lost two wickets. They could have easily have been three down. Yeah, I'm surprised that he didn't partner Ashley L Nurse on the other hand. And Carlos Bratwit opted for Andre Russell. Nice shot. He will find the gap. Was risky though, because if he missed, uh, would have been a good LBW shout. Second boundary for Bangladesh. He lost his balance, but may was lucky to get away with it because he struck it nicely. Just at the very na last moment, the left leg, just uh, the, the boot is slipping. It's a good shot. He's uh, got a good start. He played a lovely touch to open up his account, uh, which went uh, through the boundary on the offside. Oh, shot. That is a cracking shot. Four more. Well, Samuel Badri is known for his economical bowling. Two boundaries so fine is over. Litton Das, well, 
He is the aggressor. It was short and he found the gap. How will he respond? Thinking of a single. Dot delivery. Just one left in the over. Yeah, it's turning out to be a good over for Bangladesh. Economy of 6.07, uh, which is very good in this format. Excellent. Well, Playing across the line. Only be a single. It looks like they, they, are, they just uh, look like the score runs very quickly. 17 for 2. Three options so far chosen by Carlos Brathwaite. Uh, most successful, Ashley Nurse. Two wickets and just conceding six runs. Yeah, Bangladesh have struggled in this format. The last series that they played was against Afghanistan. They lost 3-0. But before that, they played uh, the Tri-Nation, Tri-Series. <laughs> Thinking about a run, now, it's never there which involved Sri Lanka and uh, India need a trophy in Sri Lanka March where they played the final uh, after that tournament it looked like that they're finding their feet in this format but they were disappointing so they haven't got the balance right they've not shown the consistency that they have showed especially in ODIs the, another opportunity here for them Pull the way. Didn't quite time it. Will not go into the boundary. Take him off. But aggressive intent, as you would expect in the power playovers. Despite two wickets falling, still Bangladesh uh, looking to score runs. Yeah, it certainly looks like that uh, the message is loud and clear. Even if you lose wickets, you would want to see them go and score runs quickly. Good running. Three runs. Very aggressive running, uh, especially from uh, Liton Das. Nice shot. Whip and pace on the ball. That's a pet shot for Shakib Alassan. Yeah, you cannot afford to bowl that length. And lying to someone like Shakib Al Hassan, he will always put you away. He knew exactly where the fielders were, up and over, and it's gone like a rocket. It looks like a very quick outfield, also. Ball coming nicely onto the bat, so the batsman can get themselves set on this surface. Will enjoy batting here. Well, Shakib has the luxury of uh, playing here previously in the last uh, 50 over match between the Windies and Bangladesh. So you can trust the bounce, the surface, very similar. And like you said, that Ali Khan, he likes the pace on the ball. This pass really close to that off stump. That's a very good yorker. Had it been like six inches straighter, would have been trouble. to the left of the fielder Badri that short fine leg Andrew Russell was the surprise delivery but concedes a boundary yeah it came a lot quicker than he anticipated and got himself in a little bit of tangle have a look at this short nicely directed but somehow he managed to just hit it away from that fielder Badri was uh, fielding at a short fine 
and it's a boundary turning out to be a good over for Bangladesh 11 already in this over again up and over and a similar result third boundary in the over an expensive one 32 for two skyscraper in over number four Andre Russell being very expensive Bangladesh are still looking to score and accelerate and put pressure on the Windies to take you through the next couple overs Ian Bishop and Jeffrey Dujon thanks Darren Man, a deep mid-wicket. And long on. And so the single is taken quite easily. Overuse of the short ball from Andre Russell. And pays the price. It's giving the batsman too much room. And we've seen that he's been all over the place like a loose pack of marbles and all the runs have come from short pitch deliveries it's beautifully hit too full and too wide from Samuel Badri and really with no one deep on the offside it was easy pickings for Shakib Just giving himself that room to force it through that offside. Hold. Peace, good activity by Kimo Paul there. Just getting a little bit damp from the rains we had earlier. It might be just a little bit difficult for Samuel Badri to grip it. That's just hoisted over long off. And run saved there by Rockman Powell. One for two. Two wickets in the first over and now they progress to 41 for two Bangladesh having been asked to bat first Kimo Paul replaces Andre Russell a couple of games in Pakistan against the Pakistanis in this format of the game and of course has played in the ODI team
No, that might just be fantastic work out there by Andre Fletcher. This was very well timed. Carried for a long way and just watch this. Got here just in time, knocked it back. Work from Andre Fletcher. Fletcher, Fletcher should take this, and Fletcher takes it. Kimo Paul strikes with the short ball. Well, time it or not, he was hitting into that wind. And uh, it just hung in the air long enough for Fletcher to get around to it. Probably didn't quite get hold of it. Too much elevation and safely taken. So the third wicket goes down. A wicket for Kimo Paul. Right and Das has to go for 24. It's 43 for two. That's been crossed as the catch was taken. Shakib on strike. Now, third man. Now, it is held by Keswick Williams. I don't know if the umpires may want to have a look at it before it is confirmed. I think Joel Wilson wants to have another look at this. Well, he did catch it and throw it back, but I'm not sure if he if the ball actually crossed the margin of the boundary when he threw it back it's going to be a very interesting to see what happens here it was a good catch but was it out Fair delivery, fair delivery. Can I have a look at the catch now? Catch is taken in the field of play, ball shown out. Okay. Yes, I'm satisfied with that. On the big screen, my decision is out. My decision is out on the big screen. The catch is confirmed. Wonderful awareness from Keswick Williams. And the short ball ploy has worked for Kima Paul in this over. Let's have a look at this. It slashes it down there. Williams takes the catch, goes over the boundary, throws it back up. And ups back in and caught it before he landed. Good piece of work gets rid of Shakib and Bangladesh now 43 for four
Mamadou Lariad. Well, he would have been hoping that a greater foundation was laid before he came to the crease. Such a wonderful finisher, but he's a good enough player. Hat-trick ball from Kimo Paul. Seems a distinct effort by the Windy Seamers to use the short ball on a very hard surface. This was Litandas. He was actually advancing. And this was Shakib trying to slash it over third man. And a wonderful piece of work by Keswick Williams. Wickets falling thick and fast. Plays now complete. Bangladesh in trouble. 43 for four. Well, a very, very bad start for Bangladesh. Two first balls for the two openers. Nobody really hanging around. But That's the right and Mamadullah. Two very experienced campaigners at the wicket. And they'll have to try and pull Bangladesh out of the fire. This is generally where Badri is more comfortable in terms of bowling at the right hand as he will bowl a nice length at his best and slide the ball wicket to wicket. Didn't use, well, didn't bowl in the first couple of overs as he would usually have done so often across his career. Just much. Easy, Ross, easy. Slightly fuller than he would have liked. Well, the wickets have been falling to short pitch deliveries. This is Kimo Paul's pitch map. Mikbal. And then Shakib. A good piece of fielding. From Keswick Williams. anybody's going to cut that off 50 comes up for Bangladesh giving room Samuel Battery too much room not what he wants to do he wants that length to be straighter at the stumps he normally is quite straight it's very unusual to see him getting cut like that. Normally tries to force a batsman to play across him or play down the ground like that. Yeah. 
straight enough to go all the way. He's struggling with his line and now with his length. He usually, I don't know if it's a moisture on the ball, but he doesn't want to be as full as he's been a couple of times in this over. That's gone. That might be going for six. It is. Andre Russell is a spectator underneath it. First six of the inning, 60 for four. Ashley Nurse doing the early damage, picking up two wickets. Andrew Russell, very expensive, and now Samuel Badri just struggling for control. Maybe just the dampness on the ball. Two wickets for Ashley Nurse. And Kimo Paul has picked up two as well. This is the last delivery of the last over. Badri struggling with his control. And Mamadolo, who is very good, straight down the ground. Just doing the business. Definitely a surface with a little pace in it. Compares <coughs> Gregory Brathwaite and Joel Wilson. Healing from Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, respectively. Well struck and well fielded, Carlos Brathwaite. is coming onto the bat really nicely it's been good bounce good carry to the keeper good conditions for stroke play a few short balls being even with Andrew Russell it's been a while since I've seen Andrew Russell run in and attack the crease as hard as he did tonight. So there's a concerted effort to bowl back up a length. It's also a pitch that has been relayed. It was relayed last year, and I think it augurs well for the future. CPL matches will be coming up as well. It's rock hard. It has a lot of potential, this surface, when it's settled. Tempted slower ball, just lost his shape a little bit. Didn't come out of the fingers like he wanted. Just pushing it down leg side. course when you're playing on grounds with short straight boundaries and, and and it's bouncing and carrying as it is off the seam bowlers your fine leg and your third man a really wicked taking catching positions as well again short again back of a length he's getting just enough bounce to be a bit disconcerting to the batsman Ball is coming on with some good pace as well.
Yeah, much too short, wide signal. And the Windy still have the captain himself, Carlos Brathwaite. Keswick Williams to come in and bowl their scene. And change-ups is necessary. Carlos himself, a very tall man. Should get some adequate bounce on the surface. Williams can be quite sharp, quite slippery. That's a better area to focus. Such a wiry fella, Kimo Paul. Deceptive. Can ball quite quick. Well, that's hit in the middle over long off. It's great hitting up the ground, Mamadullah. And got that one in the middle of the bat. Eight overs gone. It's 72 for four. Good over that two overs for Bangladesh, last two. Bowling change. Captain Carlos Brathwaite is going to replace Samuel Badri. And to replace myself and Ian Bishop, Atta Ali Khan, who is beside himself, and Danny Morrison. Chase Douche is the captain. Big Carlos Brathwaite. What a start to the three-match series. I've got to say, when I was out there for the coin toss, a little bit of sheen about the surface. Appreciably different from Saturday with the uh, day game of a 50-over contest. This one with the sheen on it. We've seen the pace. We've seen the bounce. We've seen wickets tumble. It has been all happening here at St. Kitts. They'll uh, race away. And they all count up to Rally Khan. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you too, Danny. Under the boundary. Off a wide. Last two overs. 29 runs. Just giving them some kind of momentum. Especially the way Mahmudullah has batted. Down the leg side, missing the pads. And going away from the keeper. Not the right line and lens from the skipper. But they are more than capable of uh, putting up a decent total, even though they've lost the top four. They bat deep, especially this pair. Need to ensure that uh, they bat for a longer period of time. You've got to bat deep enough. You can't change the path, but you can certainly change the future if you bat sensibly. Last ball of the last over. That is a massive hit. That is six, second six of the innings already. Mahmadullah is such a sweet timer of the cricket ball. And it looks to be in a good touch also. 23 of just 12. Oh, that's sweet. Didn't quite get all of it. Uh, the uh, second delivery that uh, Carlos Brathwaite bowled has been... Uh, no, it's a signal is wide. Now, did it just a little caress of the trousers? So that's a little tough on the bowler. And, of course, in this uh, fabulous format, only 20 overs, as we all know, an extra delivery can be the changing and the winning and losing of a game. Misses out there, I reckon. Certainly missed an opportunity. There is a deep cover in place uh, and also a third man, but uh, if he had put uh, bat to ball, could have uh, found himself another boundary here. Mushfiq Rahim. Partnership now 38 of 23. Now 
goes on the charge and then you say you uh, you sort of almost play your cards too soon and it was within the tram lines but the wee fella struggled to reach this one yeah the reason for uh, Mushfiq Rahim to uh, go and play that kind of a shot was the because of the fielder at mid off is inside the circle so he thought maybe he can put one in the air and pick up another boundary there you go cheeky but a very effective one bounce to the fence four more 13 and that over 85 for four now lucky 13 for some certainly for bangladesh so bouncing back nicely when they were 43 for the loss of four here Uh, 42 runs in the last three making hay to the impish mushy of old cheeky wee fiend uh, marvellous execution premeditated but they have been a lot of the time back end of a length these uh, powerful strong West Indians uh, crowd building it is a uh, Tuesday evening after all. I've had a couple of showers around just as uh, night was falling. A delayed start, so 8.35pm uh, local time as opposed to 8pm. So live action, great action. And they've bounced back the tourists. Two down at five and then another two falling at 43 to be 43 for four. And now this partnership's yielded 43 again. It's a very good crowd. We're all out here and in the banks, in the stands. That's very filled up. They've been there for a while. I'm witnessing a, a very good match at the moment. Short, wide. Four more. Has it gone all the way? No, just one bounce. It's just the kind of batting that was expected from these two after they lost four wickets. Deep in the screen, they know that trying to bowl short pitch deliveries. Parav just doing it a little bit too much at the moment. So they're quite keen to go initially onto the back foot and opening up the face of the Vlad. First on the onside and now on the offside. Very good. Very good for Mushfikur in this over. Now, Keswick Williams back into Wendy's colours. And again. And again. But this time down someone's throat just in front of us Rodman Powell is it who was boshing it to all parts here Saturday afternoon and they lose their fifth one and it's a key figure of the keeper yeah, just when things were looking good in favor of Bangladesh which figure finds the fielder already picked up a bound in this over a couple of bounds in the previous over also but he had to go back he has to go back for 15 it's 90 for five Araful Huck is the new man in. Oh, hello. Has he hit this? Well, will they review it? Of course, these days you can in this form of the game. Fell over, went a long way across. Asking for it, are they? Bowler likes it. 
Don't muck around, Jim. You're running out of time. Yeah, going to come upstairs. I reckon this looks good. Copy that. Um, director, we have a re place review for LBW. The original decision is not out. Let me have a look at the front foot first. Okay, fair delivery. Fair delivery. Let me go on to front on spin vision. Okay, can you rock and roll, rock and roll that? Okay. Uh, let me get Ultra Edge to confirm no bat involved. Ultra Edge coming up. The ball is passing the bat. Flat line. Flat line. No bat involved. Can you go on to ball tracking when available? Ball tracking. Pitching outside off. Impact in line. Wickets missing. Can you go back to the on-field umpire? Gregory, you will stay with your original decision. Not out, you're on screen now. Go ahead. Well, now, confirmation. I just think uh, first time real time. I know we're a little bit further away than our dear friend uh, Gregory Brathwaite, the umpire, but yeah. batter falling over. Are a full? His very first delivery and uh after and i looking at this yeah i thought it hit the pad when you see that doesn't it front on looks like it's hit the pad but it actually hit the the bottom of the thigh guard well that's the i mean uh, if you see it first i mean in, in the slow motion you can realize that it has gone and hit the thigh pad and once it does that it uh, suggests that it will go and miss the stumps but at the first go you think that yeah you strike him straight to flush on the pads that's the reason why the bowler went straight away hear the cries of anguish from uh, Keswick Williams too straight and uh, gets punished comfortably yeah they picked up five wickets already but they've also released quite a few boundaries 12 fours and two sixes including that one and that's inside the 10 overs that's Mushfiku Reem he did pick up a boundary uh, but this time he finds the man finds the man Powell taking it easy catch at uh, third man well, there's been a short pitch delivery which have worked in favor of the seamers a change of pace so uh, good one to finish still 10 off it 95 for five ah. top has been blown away here by the windies Against the Tigers, Mumadula, massive key, 28 from 15. But Mahedi to come in, Islam, uh, and down to uh, the quick guns, Rubel and uh, Mustafazir Rahman at 11. Tamir, Shumo, Goldens, Lit and Dash show glimpses. So did the skipper. But, uh, well, not enough, it would seem. But you never know. At half the overs, very small straight, pace on the ball, and we're going to have a bit more of uh, Andre Russell. He's got through a dozen deliveries. Here he comes again. The bristling menace of Russell. Starts quietly, but uh, yeah, I've been impressed. Fitness was an issue. We're worried about that. Ian Bishop and I have in a chat earlier. It looks okay. Missed out the last couple of ODIs. Did play the first one. ODIs yeah, certainly look uh, fine at the moment. What is important for Bangladesh to realize that Mahmoudullah stays honest and try to bat till the very end. He would need support from the other end. Not too many batsmen to follow. Already five in the hut. And we know that how he can uh, bat in the last five overs. So he had a wonderful time with the bat in the Nidahas Trophy. And once again, he is uh, under a situation where he really have to play the sheet anchor role, not in terms of uh, 
just playing in longer innings but need to play deeper and if he can bat deeper then he will play shots and score runs he likes to uh, test out the halfway point of the pitch here Andre Russell tonight showed you uh, graphic earlier smacking it in halfway down one heck of an athlete he has had his fair share of uh, hamstring problems lower back powerfully built man and watching him warm up having a chat to coach Stewie Law but, uh, just got to keep an eye on Russell pop him in cotton wool and look after him yeah Mahmoud has got 43 of just 18 deliveries uh, a chase of 160 versus Sri Lanka in that match at the in Sri Lanka Nida has trophy and he's got a good start what he needs to realize now is that he cannot afford to get out top five already being dismissed so quickly needs to shoulder the responsibility it's uh, nice a little wrist work half the side out already very first ball bounces down brain fade from uh, Tamim Oh, he's got to get forward. Shim a shocker. What a shocker. And then Das. Yeah. Got a start. Got out. And Shakib. Wonderful catch this on the fence by uh, Keswick Williams. Wonderful. Presence of mind and athleticism. Last one. Mushy. Back for a shower, buddy. Robin Powell too easy. So, uh, lots to do. For uh, the late lower order as well. Yeah, a little bit gloomy coaching staff. Stephen Rhodes there, and the specs on to his right. Uh, Neil McKenzie, the uh, batting consultant, former South African. Oh, another short one. Just enough to get over the 30 meter circle to uh, bring up the 100 now off 11. For five down. Once again, the Windies relying more on pace. Yes, we've had uh, Samuel Badry and uh, Ashley Nurse early doors. Back to the fast me. A short one from Keswick Williams this time. He starts his second and well, gotta be so precise with the short one at the small ground. Yeah, the short one has worked in their favour. Runner is not a problem for Bangladesh. They're going at over 900 and over. They go at the current rate, they will get 181, which is a very good total on the surface. The problem is the uh, danger of losing wickets. If they keep losing wickets, then it will be difficult for them to bat through the 20 overs. That's the reason why Bangladesh need a partnership. They have uh, someone like Mahmudullah who will... Uh, who can't go and bat till the very end, but he will need support from the other end. Twelve fours and two maximum so far for the tourists. Once again, that lovely little uh, wrist work. Mamadullah, keep it ticking, keep it moving. And in between, and uh, are a full. Strike a couple of big blows. Yeah, the average first inning total in T20 internationals at this ground is, would you believe it, 122. But in CPL, last year it's been 179. The current rate uh, would get them 180 if they can manage uh, to hold their nerves and manage to score at this rate. They will get those runs. That's nicely played. Should come back for the second. He's running hard. Very good, very good running. Yeah, good point you make, Atta, because uh, in terms of seeing CPL, and it started here in 2014, the pitch 
was a little bit more tired. And again, our wonderful colleague Ian Bishop came up and mentioned that this surface was relayed recently, I think last year. And so now it's a lot more slick. So it comes on, and the spinners used to have more of a say here in those early days of CPL 14, 15, and 16. Nice angles from Williams. But they still managed to squirt through. So, yeah, fascinating. 122 over a period of time. And now, because the pitch has been relayed, higher scores than the ground staff. Kent Crafton, I've been told. Chilling. It's one of the uh, yeah, Cricket West Indies uh, pitch supervisors. Goes round the Caribbean. And I must say... Utter, this is a wonderful looking 22 yards nowadays than it was just a few years ago. Yeah, that's the reason I felt that uh, it was uh, really disappointing to see the way Tamim Iqbal got himself uh, dismissed of the very first delivery. He was out of the block so quickly and all of a sudden he was stumped. Such a good run with the bat in the ODI, and his teammates himself also would have expected them to give another good start. Six off, one to go here. Here's what's not quite ready, and neither is uh, Araful. Here he goes. He's seven from seven. Where does this one go? Change of pace, maybe, from the bowler. He's uh, gone with his tried and trusted length. Normal pace delivery. So seven off the 12th. It's 107 for five here. Tourists counter punching, trying to stay in the contest. It's all happening here at Warner. Time for a change in voice. Darren Ganga is with Ian Bishop. Thanks, Danny. Carlos Brathwaite back into the attack. One for 13, one over for 13. Hasn't looked as sharp, Brathwaite, as either Russell or Kimo Paul just yet. And he started his T20 international career against these same opponents back in 2011 in Bangladesh. That was prior to his knee injury, which he sustained uh, not too long after that, which has, to me, hampered a bit of his pace over the years. Two dots to start. Two dots to start. 28 dots overall in the innings. Rule of thumb for most teams between 30 and 40. That's something that most teams will look at when they assess their performance with the bat. In terms of run, Bangladesh, they're in a very good position. They've just lost too many wickets. Another play and a miss. You've got to be careful here. It's a good platform for them to launch from. Marmadula, crucial. If they are to get somewhere close to 170, 180. Lucky for Carlos Bratwit. There was no bat on this. Very close to that white line. Guide mark, it seems to be delivered from him to, to bowl down into that channel against Arifo. Benefit of a doubt going to the bowler. Well stopped. Brilliantly stopped at backward point. Evan Lewis, the man doing the business. Going to his left side. Had to take the dive out. Got down in time. Good work. Yes, the captain. He loves it.
changing the field for Mamadoula. Fine leg comes up into the circle and three fielders riding the boundary. Leg side. And again, excellent to finish the over. Just one run conceded. Brilliant stuff from the Windies. 108 for five. of wickets have stemmed somewhat in the flow in the last three or four overs nice crowd has come in as well a number of faces uh, very familiar with us as we see them piling in for cpl as well kimo paul that should be four that's hit quite firmly by arifo there's been a concerted effort on the part of the Windies bowlers to bowl that short, short of a good length delivery against the Bangladeshis. This time, Ariful equal to the task, gets it in front. He knows exactly that there is a fielder on the onside. Meets it very early and gets the result that he wants. Beautifully bowled. Saw him bowl the penultimate over in the second ODI in Guyana. And it was a well constructed over. A lot of Yorkers in it. Seems to be one of the young bowlers in the Caribbean who is able to, to get a grip of death bowling and will get better with experience. Yeah, and he does it with good accuracy as well. So I'm in 50 over cricket, uh, getting a little bit of conventional swing, can also get reverse swing, a wonderful talent, Kimo Paul. The other thing I noticed with Bangladesh as well, come back to it. I watched Mushfiqur Rahim, the former captain, a lot during particularly the ODI series and how he would maneuver the fielders even though Mortaza was the captain. As the keeper standing behind the stumps, he played a significant role. I'm watching Dinesh Ramdin here as well. Getting that extra pair of eyes that Carlos Brathwaite needs with regards to the angle of the fielders. Three ball. Lots of short balls from uh, the Windies. Kimo Paul picked up two wickets in his over. Yeah, this is one. Going with the wind. It's been that windy. The short deliveries are uh, working for the Windies bowlers, and you can understand why. Straight boundary is very short. This was a piece of brilliance. Keswick Williams, awareness, athleticism. This was more conventional. Rothman Paul making no mistake. look at the approach here from Bangladesh they're just trying to wear the overs down before they launch they know that they only have five wickets in this crowd they would love to see much more boundaries before the inning closes right, 
One one six for five. Good to see the crowd coming in. One or two friends of Atar Ali Khan dotted around the ground in their Bangladesh t-shirts. Andre Russell to bowl his final over. Yeah, the key for me at this stage of the innings is getting the feel right so you don't be predictable as a bowler. Short with pace and appeal. It's run out. Well, the umpire didn't have to give the decision, the LBW on the appeal, but he should be run out here. Well, Ramden aimed at the striker's end and missed the stumps there. And Mamadula saw the ball miss the, the striker's stumps and took off before anyone. He was a long way out of his crease. Good for us. Okay, fair delivery, fair delivery. Let's go on to the front on Spain Vision. Okay, okay, copy, I'm looking. Okay, actually he's bold. He's bold. So on the big screen, on the big screen you would big screen is out. On the big screen out. Yeah well. He's been given out, and you can see why. Ball making contact. He's been bowled by Andre Russell. Mamadullah survives the run out. Pat goes for 15. It's 116 for six. Hedi Hassan. Well, what an event that was. Mamadoula was also unaware, like most of us, that the bail had actually fallen off. He would have been blinded by the batsman's body. As you can see why, but Ramdin then picks the ball up and throws it. In the gap for four of them easily put away by Mahidi Hassan good timing full delivery Andrew Russell searching for the Yorker couldn't quite get it right Hassan just came to the crease and this is a very good shot to get off the mark Russell's down now. 
hobbles back to his feet. Just want to go over that incident again. He was bold. None of us knew he was bold. And then Randon tried to run him out. And look at where Mamadoula is when the ball hits the stump. So had he not been bold, Mamadoula would have been livid with himself because that would have been a comedy of errors from him. And he can laugh at it now. But he got away there. His partner didn't. Andrew Russell was even searching for that LBW decision. He was confident. Short. Just to enlighten our viewers as to how many people didn't know about it, the third umpire was just asking about hit wicket. So no one really knew why the bail came off. So it was hit wicket, hold, LBW, run out, all modes of dismissal. Oh, what you would give for a double play. See, you're looking forward to America, Bish. Florida, here we come. 121 for six. Following this first uh, T20 International, there are two other matches. Uh, in Lauder Hill, Florida. On Saturday, fought uh, the second match between the Windies and Bangladesh. And then on Sunday, the final T20 International. Schedule following this game. The action moves to Lauder Hill, Florida for the remaining two T20 Internationals. Rathwaite changed around this bowlers quite nicely tonight. Last five overs, 26 for one, four overs before that, 52 for one. So the Windies have clamped down on the rate of scoring compared to the first half of the innings where Bangladesh were going very well, even though they lost wicket. Just one. It's a good period of play for the Windies. They're bowling spot on. Good support in the field as well. They pull things back after those few skyscrapers between over number four and over number 12 to a large extent. Two is the call from Mamadoula. Williams quick to the ball and the rag dropped out of Brathwaite's trousers as he got into his delivery stride. Not enough to disturb the batsman. Yeah, good work. One-handed pickup, creating the doubt and preventing the second run. Be interesting to know who bowls the next over. Russell has bowled out. So Keswick Williams has a couple and, and, and he would often bowl some death overs for the Windies. Rathwaite himself has another option after this. And then you can go to Kimo Paul. Ashley Nurse bowled one over for two wickets. Not to be seen again yet. Two more is the call. Good activity from Andre Fletcher. He's been brilliant in the field tonight. Part-time wicketkeeper, but he's looked exceptional in the outfield. Yeah, this is tremendous work. Andre Fletcher diving, one-handed pickup. That's the beauty of T20 cricket. Brings the feeling component of the game into the spotlight. Bold, very well bold. 16 overs completed, 125 for six.
nice crowd on the western side of this ground vacant territory on the eastern side but they're making their presence felt cheering in the commentary box jeffrey dujan danny morris thank you bish ah it's a ripper the slow dipping delivery from keswick look out the dance floor's here let's go boys shake it groove it move it back at warner number seven it's just a brilliant delivery. Full, slow. Mamadullah totally deceived in the flight. Played way too early. And there goes the off stump, and there goes the dance. So Mamadullah Riyad goes for 35. Propped up the innings. It's 125 for seven. Good change up from Williams and Nozmal Islam is out in the middle, number nine. And yeah, well, Ian Bishop did ask, thought, who's going to come on and bowl this next over? And it's got to be a guy that you go to. Wonderful deception. Yeah, he's very good at this, Edric Williams, and it seems as if he's good at that as well. So is she. Ah, oh, bring it. They're all doing it. Oh, a little fish, little dab. Well, Jeffrey, as you've always said, it's in the jeans, brother. Moving and grooving. You gotta have rhythm, Dan. Gotta have rhythm. The rhythm. I remember them saying that on the dance floor. You, you honkies ain't got no rhythm. Now watch what you're doing. And we did. Lovely Bayesian queen, a bit of dancing there in uh, Barbados all those years ago. And uh, Ian Bishop, he was there, shaking it too. With the uh, Twin Towers, Ambrose and Walsh were there that night. One to remember, and a bit like this to remember here with the dancing of Keswick Williams with a wonderful delivery. Oh! Oh, look, let me out, let me out there. Yeah, I'm going back to school to learn to do that. As one of my teachers, thank you, dear. Well, at least, at least the top half of you looks as if it's got some rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> Bowling ball head, just rhythm down the gantry. <laughs> oh, a little short, and a swivel on, and a heady. Keswick Williams is really good at, especially in the latter overs, is taking a bit of pace off the ball, forcing the batsman to use, to, to make pace on it. Messes up the timing. Got one after this. That'll be just a single. Ends the 17th, it's 130 for seven. No 
one's really got into third or fourth gear here in terms of the batting from Bangladesh. One with all 35 and then the next top, Lithan Das at 24. A couple of teens thrown in as well. And despite all that, they were uh, going rather nicely. The first 10 overs of 95. So, yeah, going at 9.5. And the next seven overs have only yielded 35. Even with those wickets stumbling and tumbling early. <coughs> and Paul, well, he's taking a leaf out of Keswick Williams' book now. And this is good batting, bowling rather, at the latter half of the order. They're far more likely to, to be troubled by this, by this change of pace. And mix it up like that. That's what's been fairly impressive from the youngsters. Joseph and now Paul. Saw a little bit of Alzari. Joseph. Guyana zipping it about. Now it's uh, Kima Paul this evening here in St. Kitts. Well, they found a surface that's conducive to that. There's a bit of bounce and pace in this wicket. Again, the slower delivery. Islam just not being able to get hold of it. Always tricky when you've got the tail enders in in those death overs, whether it's 50 overs or 20 overs, and particularly highlighted even more in the uh, shortest format. You've got this Lam here batting at nine, and there's still a few overs to go. Oh, well fielded. Oh, he's gone for all money. Are they going to get the overthrow? No. But some good stuff. Is that Lewis again? EL, well done. Good stuff. This was hit quite well. Um, pulled it in and got rid of it quickly. Evan Lewis. Yeah, one of the, uh, the gifted athletes in this Wendy's uh, outfield inside the hot spot there. Backward point. Uh, he likes it, but I think it was going down. Just Looking at that first time, real time. Beating leg stump. Cross seam. Now you can see, you see a bit of leg stump, but still a bit to go there, a bit to travel. Clipping, maybe. What do you think, Hawk? Downstairs. Dancing shoes on. On the bank, though. strike very very good over just two singles from the 18th ripper it's 132 for seven Double O at the top. First ball ducks. First time ever, apparently. Here we go. Keswick Williams, and he's got Bosch, but not enough of it. Gonski! Ashley Nurse, the eighth nail in the coffin, and Mahedi has set off the cheerleaders and dancers on the bank here at Warner. That's one of the, another one of those floated deliveries from Keswick Williams. And just into the shot a bit too early, maybe. 
spoons it in the air and Ashley Nurse is not going to drop those. So Mady goes for 11, Bangladesh now 132 for 8. Number 10's in. Ruble. He's not on strike. This is uh, Nur al Islam. Had to reload. But I tell you what, Bangladesh are in danger of being bowled out here, not taking the full quota. Again, a change of pace. Smart bowling from Williams. And very comfortable in the end from Ashley Nurse. And low fives, high fives. All too comfortable for the hosts at the moment. Oh, a genuine edge and it'll race away for four here. Much needed for the Tigers. Way too fine for third man really give Ramdin much of a chance and that's always going to happen at the end of the innings but he certainly used his entire bag of tricks this evening Keswick Williams three wickets now 26 and into his fourth call make that four make that four for Keswick Williams yeah, and it's tumbling away here for Bangladesh. They're losing wickets almost like nine pins. Again, falling away, little leg cutter, bit of bounce, bit of an edge, and through to Dinesh Ramdan. He gleefully accepts that. Nazmul uh, Islam, gone for seven, it's 137 for nine now. man in Mustafa's ear Rahman and so the fizz is out in the middle with his mate yeah. knows where the batsman's going and Nuzmal tail ender cramped and that extra bounce what a beauty Mustafa's or pick up a single here it's just been a great over for Keswick Williams two wickets in the over chance of another pick up a five for just one more delivery to go career best figures just been told for Keswick Williams in uh, T20 internationals this four for four bowling changes in the first ten overs well there have been seven bowling changes now in the last nine or so. Oh, another 
change up here. We're searching for those three things stuck in the ground. So he's done and dusted here. Four for 28, 19 done, 139 for nine. Extras. Got one to go for Bangladesh. Here's the skipper. Oh, it's a cracker! I think he's definitely missing, but there's a, an inquiry. No, I think buys. I think yeah, I think that was definitely missing leg. But what a beauty! Ricky can't believe it. Carlos Bradford getting it in the hole. Oh, tight but missing. That's where you want to be at this stage. Just seeing the best figures by a pacer in West Indies, Bangladesh, T20s. From Keswick Williams, four for 28 in four. And the captain trying to clean it up. Let's hit hard. Fletcher into play, another good piece of fielding. Four wickets for Keswick Williams. Lovely change of pace, it changed the length. Oh, it was stunning. Get rid of Mumadullah. Yeah, time to go to the dance floor. And another change of pace, try to be heaved away. Nice move, gone. Yeah, see you soon. Back live. And. Uh, Captain Carlos Brathwaite trying to nail the last two. And uh, just enlighten that he is from St. Vincent. Loved it there back in 96, I've got to say. Gorgeous part of the world. The Grenadines. And now oh, a spice man's here tonight too, Jeffrey. Andre Fletcher from Grenada. Can't wait to see those eyes just light up. Particularly if he gets going and fats a few. Two to go in the innings. And they've breached 140 of the Tigers. Last two gentlemen at the crease for Bungler. Right arm round now. A bit of fresh air. Now they won the toss at uh, Carlos Brathwaite. Delighted to be bowling first. He said, yep, we're going up front because uh, we want to know what we're chasing. And it is a very good surface, he felt too. Now they don't get bowled out, Bangladesh. A little bit of a misfield from Keswick Williams, but uh, no damage done. So the last over yielded just four, and it meant that uh, Bangladesh... Got to 143 for nine with their turn of bat. Just to uh, reiterate, first 10 overs, it was 95 for five. So they're going along rather nicely. And in the next 10 overs, get this, only 48 scored for the loss of four. And only four boundaries in the last 10 overs. Ouch. That hurts you as a batting side. And this was the man of the moment. Four for 28. And you have to say that Bangladesh just kept losing wickets at regular intervals. Couldn't get any momentum on their innings. Ashley Nurse started everything with picking up the first two wickets. Both batsmen out first ball. And uh, the Bangladesh card reads as such. 24 for Litan Das. 35 for Mamadullah, the 
main scorers in the innings. 143 for 9 Bangladesh in their 20. 12 extras as well. So uh, they couldn't quite get to 150. Let's go sideline now to Ian Bishop. Ashley, there's two wickets in your first over. How pleasing or surprising was that? Uh, it's obviously pleasing. I mean, start off 20, 20 getting the first over is always important. So it's nice to get the team a good start. Were you surprised to see Tammy McBall advancing to you for the first ball of that over? Uh, not really. I know that it's a 20, 20 game, so it's a bit fast paced. So I know he was trying to put me under some pressure. So I was looking for him to do something, but obviously didn't tell with, with, yeah, to chip the first ball, but I saw him early, so I just put it away. What about just bowling a solitary over in the innings? Yeah, well, that obviously wasn't the plan, but it was only then. The guys really come to forward today. About the seam bowlers, just give me your idea on the tactics. A lot of short balls were bowled. Yeah, obviously, you know, the agent batsmen, you know, like the ball really above the, uh, the way, so it's nice to see the fellas using the wicket, hitting the wicket hard, get some bounce over the track, and try to make this hit to the big side with the win. It's easy to get these? I won't say easy, but it's a good, we'll take that any day. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he was uh, the catalyst, kicking things off. Look at that, two for six. Just had to bowl the one over. But he uh, nailed the openers very quickly indeed. And Russell, good to see him back in Wendy's colours, getting amongst the bowling and getting a wicket. And uh, Paul and then Williams, in terms of uh, pace, getting the wickets. Highlights there. This was the first two. First ball of the match, even. Oh! It's a man gone. And then the next opener is uh, Jimmy Shane. Jeez, Jeffrey, got to get forward, son. Could have been worse. Shaki put down by Marlon Samuels. Even though there were the odd boundaries. Shaki came in and played some shots. Any width he was given, he made use of it. And anything over pitched. Then Litton Das. The ball shot, it's delivery straight into the hands of Andre Fletcher. Then it was Shakib to this good piece of fielding. Jedrick Williams walked it through it back and fielded it. Madula stuck around for a while with a few shots. This was a beauty straight down the ground of Badri. So was that. It wasn't a good night for Samuel Badri. Didn't seem to be gripping the ball properly. Mamadula, so good off the ground. Mushfikur. Slashed at a few. One too many. This one straight into the hands of Rodman Powell. Pressed on. And then this is Arthur's wicket. Just clip the off stump. The non striker was given out before he realized he'd been bowled. And this was a crucial wicket. Deceived by Kendrick Williams. Slower delivery. Then this was Nazmo. First was Mehdi. Followed him with a short one that got too big for him. So the target. Windies need 144 runs from 120 balls. And they'll have to do that at 7.2. Long rain delay has now revised the target in the playing condition. So 91 is uh, the target to get there and 11 overs and four bowlers can uh, bowl a couple each the, the power play is actually only going to last three overs and one bowler can bowl three overs so your best bowler gets three overs the others get two and it's the spice man andre fletcher out of grenada here he is ready to fire up and try and track down 91 in 66 deliveries 
He's made at the other end is Evan Lewis, who loves to cut loose early in this form of the game, and particularly this venue, because, of course, he's tied up with the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots during the Caribbean Premier League. And a few have stayed in to actually see the home side's reply. Mehdi Hassan, this wily young offie, who was one heck of a talent, showed some of his class during the Test Series in Tiga and uh, particularly in Jamaica. Right here. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Fletcher on. Immediately gives it a crack. Oh, they're going to take one and get things underway. Ian Bishop, this target, you'd think would be easy on this surface here this evening. Well, you'd have to ball really well and field really well to defend it. Fascinated to see how Mehdi Hassan goes. Lewis is the only left-hander in this batting lineup, but he bowled so well to the Wendy's left-handers in the ODIs on pitches that gripped a little bit more than this one will do. Bowled a fantastic length in addition to line. Lewis just sorting things out with his guard and his gloves. Very watchful because uh, Shuma Shaker got knocked over. He a left-hander. Skidded through from Nurse. Castled in first ball. Lewis should be aware of that at least. Lost a little bit of shape, but he gives it a heave into the onside to get off the mark now. From the get-go here, that 91 from 66 was an asking rate of 8.27. Yeah, those enjoying themselves in uh, the VIP area. Boxes here at Warner. Uh, Fletcher! Oh, he loves to give it some Humpty. Early doors. First maximum to the Spice Man. It's an area of the field that Andre Fletcher loves to, to challenge the off-spinner. Long on and mid-wicket, and it's exactly where they've got the two deep fielders. The ground, though, isn't big enough. Well, the challenge, isn't it? Exposes all three stumps and says, go on. Here they are. Take me on or I'll take you down. Oh, they want it, they want it. He runs the line. I tell you what, a direct hit would have been very, very interesting. Was that the first throwing? I think it was. Mustafa's here. Excellent awareness by Mustafa Zur. Yeah. Again, just trying to hit it a little too hard. Take one and be happy, Evan Lewis. Ends the first one, 10 off it for none. Two batsmen, as you would like in this T20 format, who like to have a dash straight up. Ready up with the rate. Yeah, Evan Lewis was safe at the other end, but it, it was Fletcher, it was tight. He, I just have been home. The other thing now is to see how Mustafi Zur as a seamer will bowl to Evan Lewis. We saw Mortaza come around the wicket and bowl a good length, close to a full length, to Lewis. Didn't give him any short balls or many, just two in the entire series, which he pulled for six. Now, can Lewis counter-attack if the length again is on the full side? Long on and deep square leg. Here's the fizz. 
Lewis, yeah, you can see he wants to line him up, clearly. But you've got to watch out for those wonderful changes of pace, those cutters that he's renowned for. And on this particularly good pitch, Minchin had a sheen on it. New ball will slide on. Need some magic here to Bangladesh. They need a knock over two or three early. Straight out from Lewis. Who wants it? Taken. Litton Das gets rid of Lewis. All very soft and easy. Excellent bowling and Bangladesh as they should be. They're happy on the field and beyond the field. Hard pitch. The ball's hit high up on the bat. Spliced. But Lewis's form has tailed off in recent matches whether it's 50 overs now t20 a little bit of a concern for him he goes for two ten for one Fletcher this time. He's miscued as well. He gets away with it. Almost two in a row here. You just have to be a little bit sensible. This is the dismissal of Lewis. As you said, Bish, spliced high on the blade. The length was good with the new pill. And the last ball, I wonder if Mamadoula, was it too far for him to dive? Oh, he stopped very early in the piece. Might have taken a dive. Sorting out third man here. It's almost like a fly slip. We've got a gully in now. Because of what's just transpired. Yeah, it's that little change of pace. Here's a cutter. It still skids through. Yeah. They're yeah, buoyed by the first one down. Yeah, watch this. Yeah, biggie. Massive off spinning delivery that he bowls. Wonderful. Rotations on the ball. Andre Russell has come out at first drop. So there's the ploy set out. This is Fletcher on strike, but Dre Russell at the other end. Because we've only got three overs in a power play. Whoa. Another good seed here for Mustafa's ear. It's interesting because after the first ball dropped short of mid-on, they push the mid-on back to long-on, folks. I just wonder if you continue bowling this sort of line with the left-handed over the wicket angle. Whether you can still maintain the catcher, have third man back and the mid-on up. like the fact there's a catcher. Tick that box. There it is! Number two! Double wicket maiden kicking on! Can you believe it? They're going to have to here. Fletch is gone. The second one down now. Brilliant angle from the fizz that little cutter again with that supple wrist nice bounce and carry even with pace off the ball on this surface the ideal start for Bangladesh Fletcher goes for 7 10 for 2 
Now then, a couple of blokes who've played a bit of IPL together. Andre Russell, and he's going to be up against uh, Shakib Alassane. But, uh, this is international T20. Of course, Russell, renowned franchise T20 around the globe, is a great finisher or a super destructive character. But now he's up against the very wily Shakib Alassane. I think it's a great move. Marlon Samuels has come out to replace Andre Fletcher, so it has been very hectic in the first two overs. I just like to reiterate, there was a double wicket maiden from the Fizz. Just need a little bit of sense and sensibility here from the Windies now. It bounces again. Oh. It's going to have to reload this one as Shaq. Marlon Samuels back in international duty. Been a while. So remember, this is the last over it. the power play. And that, funkily enough, races away for four for Samuels to open his account. Pick the gap quite nicely. It's a man uh, to the right of your screen, the extreme right at a mid-wicket position. But once it beats the mid-on, that man has a lot of work to do. Couldn't do the work. Yeah, a little skiddy one through. Now, if you've just tuned in, because we've had a heck of a rain delay here and some kits. Coming now, coming now, boy. Coming now, They're trying boy. to track down. Come, Sakib Alassan. Come, Sakib Alassan. 91 and 11. Wendy's. And only three overs of a power play. It's not one there. Another useful over. Just seven from the third. It's 17 for two here. course oh, Shakib manages his bowlers will be absolutely vital Two down early in the pursuit of 91 and 11. So let's have a bit more spin, says uh, Shakib. Time for a bit of uh, Nazmal Islam. Yeah, just going to get the uh, boundary riders sorted. Mumadullah, I think he's going to go out to uh, long on. Two right-handers at the crease now. And uh, hence the left-handedness. I think Shakib forgot the power play was finished and it was Mamadoula who alerted him, hey, you can have more than two outside of a circle. He only had two outside of a circle. And Mamadoula came running in saying, Skipper, we need to have more protection beyond the circle. So now two other fielders have swept on the offside and one deep square. That sounded good off the blade. Work to do. And better throw, better bounce throw over the stumps or near it. Would have had Russell in a whole heck of trouble here. And it's a nice stroke. And then Marlon Samuel said, listen, Russ, we need to come back here. Made him come back, but oh, yeah. Really good throw. And with the bounce throw over the top of the stumps a bit better, would have been number three down. 
and Russell out of here. Ha, ha, ha. Wonderful flight and holding it back with some hang time. Nuzma. Nineteen for two after three point two. Give it a heave and give it some. It's gone all the way. There's a maximum this time from Marlon Samuels. In his zone. It's a shot that he plays quite nicely, whether he's using his feet or standing and hitting the left arm spinner wide of mid on or long on. Lovely shot. Suddenly eight off half this over. And dear, and he's going to get away with it with just a single. Yeah, and for stats gurus, Mustafa Zia with his only the second Bangladesh bowler to double wicket maiden in T20s after. Elias Sunny did it against Ireland. Double wicket maiden. He's a left arm spinner. Ilias Sunny versus the pace of the Fizz. Ah! Yeah, it's missing. Yeah, but beautifully bowled. <laughs> and oh, now another one. Another run out opportunity missed here by Bangladesh. Yeah, Russell was a little bit slow to start off because he played the big heave. Would have been gone. Needed a direct throw to smash the poles at the bowler's end. No, oh, no run there. So he fights back with the over, and it is 27 for two here after four. Twenty-seven for two. Time for a change in voice. Jeffrey Dujon and Darren Ganga. Thank you, Danny. The wind is sixty-four more runs from forty-two deliveries. Marlon Samuels looking in very good nick. Remember, he missed the ODI series because of injury. Timing the ball sweetly. Covered. Off the ground, the power of this man, Andre Russell. Well, he doesn't really need much room. So powerful. It's just slightly back of a length. And once he gets bat on it, it's gone. Russell promoted uh, to number three in this uh, Windy's batting lineup. Windy's already hitting three maximums in this innings. Bangladesh, the entire innings, only th two. And appeal. He goes immediately for the review. Director, we have a review for LBW. The original decision is not out. Let me have a look at the front foot, please. Okay, fair delivery. Move on to front on spin vision. Okay, can you rock and roll that? Okay, I will need Ultra Edge to confirm where the bat involved. Open up. Keep rolling.
Okay, keep rolling, rolling, ball passing the bat, keep rolling, rolling, pass the gloves now, yes, I'm happy with that, no bat involved, ball tracking when available, ball tracking, pitching in line, impact in line, wicket, umpire's call, can you go back to the umpire on field, Greggy, I would recommend you stay with your decision. You're on screen now. Thank you. Well done. Well, Umpire Gregory Bratwit uh, just confirming that his uh, decision was uh, the right one given the situation. Bangladesh, on the other hand, will not lose their review. So close. Andre Russell flirting with danger. Yes, at first look, it looked as if it straightened a bit more than that and would have maybe hit leg stump. It's a streaky single there. Seven from the over so far. Bangladesh would be looking for another wicket to try and get a new batsman in. On over the wicket now, Shaki Balasan, Marlon Samuel just changing the angle. Doesn't make a difference. This man, Marlon Samuels, he's all class. He knows it's not turning much. And he gets that left foot right inside the line. To allow his hands to just go straight through doesn't try to hit it too far on the on the leg side tries to hit it pretty straight and he's such a great timer of the ball There's no question where that was going ball coming onto the bat so he can just hit through the line of it lots of boundaries up in the inning so far for the Windies, four sixes, just one four. Marlon Samuel strike rate over 200, 21 from 10. Ow! Good partnership between these two, 31 from 19, five overs gone, 41 for two. So we had uh, a few rain interruptions, revised playing conditions. Uh, Windies require 91 in 11 overs, power play overs of three. Windies uh, with 17 runs for the loss of two wickets. Four bowlers can bowl a maximum of two, one, three. West Indies going at about 8.3 8.2 which is just around where they have to be they're up with the run rate looking for a couple of good overs early on to take the pressure off the end Ruben Hussain pace and bounce got the better of the wicket keeper as well four wides You saw the West Indian bowlers bowling short. Uh, this one was way too short and over the head of the diminutive Mushfikur. Banged it down well in his half of the pitch. Five added to the Windies total. 46 now for two at the start of the over. Both teams at a similar stage. They were equal in terms of runs and wickets, 41 for two. Classy shot. Off the back foot, giving himself room, finding the gap. Samuels on fire, brings up the 50 for the Windies. Well, one thing Marlon Samuels has is a good pair of hands. 
strong back foot player. Backs away, gives himself some room, and how many times have we seen him hammer the ball through that area? Just gets a finger on it. He will save his team a couple runs. That was struck firmly. And he was timing the ball in full control. Looks in ominous form despite not playing competitive cricket for a couple weeks. But this was hit really hard out to the field a bit before he expected it. Moves on to 26. is going now at nine and a half and they'll take a quick one here good awareness from Samuels on the non-strikers and Andre Russell not making good contact but responding well positive running between the wickets by these two Strong onside feel. Now being changed. Deep mid wicket coming into the 30 yard circle. In exchange uh, for the fielder at mid off. Going back to long off. Up and over. Might be taken. Yes. Gone. Mamadullah. One too many. Doesn't get the distance. And he will have to depart. He has to seem to catch this pretty low on the bat. Looking to tug it over long on. And just catches the toe of the bat and just can't get the distance. Simple catch in the end for Mamadullah and Samuels goes for 26. It's 52 for three. Strong bottom hand from uh, Andre Russell. Well, Marlon Samuels is quick fire innings. Came to an end. This was the shot hitting the Q end of the bat. Mahmoudullah making no mistake. That has brought uh, Rothman Paul, young all round to the crease. Who will set himself for his first delivery. Only 14 matches. Ah! Rubel Hussein just has the knack of getting wickets. Six overs gone. It's 53 for three. Windows require 38 from 30 deliveries. Remember, it's an abbreviated game because we have a rain delay. Mustafa Fizur will resume bowling. A double wicket maiden. 
for Bangladesh. Windies were required to score at 8.27. They're currently going at 8.83. Starts with a short delivery. Andrew Russell just prompting the umpire to rethink his decision. Maybe feeling it's a little too high. Very good piece. Mustafi Zur. There's definitely a bit more pace and bounce in this pitch. Seems to be a bit harder than it was for the ODI. Oh. Splices off the bat. The pace, the length, the power. Andre Russell not making good contact, but lucky for him. There was no third man, he was in that 30-yard circle. Flew over him, raced into the boundary. Mr. Pizzou just getting a little extra bounce out of this pitch. Seems to be bowling a bit quicker as well than he did in the ODI. This time! Going, 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 gone. Might have gone straight to Nevis as well. Oh, this man, he's got a ridiculous power. Well, as fast as it came is as fast as it went. This ball really hard, didn't try to hit it too square. Well, we've just gone past uh, midnight here in St. Kitts. Uh, Andrew Russell is still wide awake. His ability to pick the length, speed of his arms, the elevation, the distance. What a shot. He's moved to 20 of 13 now. How will Mr. Fizur respond? Over the top, at another boundary. This one was a bit wide. Didn't try to keep it down. Just slashed it, went over the man at backward point. Didn't have a chance. 14 from the over so far. It's a good one for the Windies. And another aggressive uh, shot from uh, Andrew Russell. One called for the over. Now there's a great chemistry between uh, Rovman Paul and Andre Russell. They both hail from Jamaica. Rovman Paul, numerous times, he's indicated uh, his admiration for Andre Russell. Patterns his game to him as a young player. Must be a great joy for him to bat alongside him. One delivery left in this over. Fine leg to man up into that circle. Yeah, gets the bat on it. Finishes in style. Andre Russell, 18 runs from the over. It's 71 for three.
Nazmul Islam. Just a single bit of a change from what's been happening. The pace has been fast and furious. That was the last ball of the last over. Good over for Andre Russell. Keep up with the pace, but Ian Bishop and Atta Ali Khan probably can. Thanks, Jeffrey. Good assisting of each other down at long on and long off. Such a strong player, Andre Russell. Not even sure that we've seen the full potential of his batting at international level across his career so far. Six of them. Rubman Powell in to be at. Looks as though he's uh, lost nothing from his knock in the last two eye. Already six sixes in this inning so far. And he was very good with the bat in the last ODI. And straight away get into that same sort of form. Oh, nearly gone through and uh, lucky that it's just gone away from the stumps. It all, apart from that one single over, Risha from Mustafa Rahman, which is a double wicket maiden. Really could have nothing much to offer, especially when uh, Russell and obviously Samuel was on a strike. They were brutal with the bat. Again! That's gone many a mile. That's the third ball which has gone out of the ground. That is massive. That is huge. 86 for three. A lot of entertainment for this crowd who have stayed on here into Wednesday morning. Powell's enjoyed it. Russell's enjoyed it. Shakib not so much. Hundred and nine meters six. What's he doing with a pipe? Oh, the ball is certainly going straight through a pipe on this surface. He's discussing with a colleague off here. As Russell shows his dynamic power. I mean, end up in Florida somewhere for the second and third and twenty. I just, I just wonder, it's my own, it's my own sort of thinking, but if Rothwell continues to play ODI cricket for the Windies for some time, I'd like if the opportunity presents himself for someone to say to Russell, look, I'll give you 10 ODIs. I want to bat you at number three in ODI cricket. I want you to go in there and you take your time, get into an innings and just let your power take over if you can manage to stay in and set yourself for a few overs. It won't happen, but I'd love to see the possibility of that happening because he can play properly and he can destroy you, Andre Russell. Well, he can single-handedly destroy any attack if he is in this kind of a form. 35 of 19, three fours and three sixes. Incredible. Making it look too easy. Rubel Hussain. Good surface for T20 cricket. Thirty-five from nineteen deliveries, three fours, three sixes. This is why he's become one of the most sought-after 
players in this format across the world game. And that's one of the reasons I felt that perhaps the dismissal of uh, Tami Megbal on the very first delivery that he faced. He went down the wicket. Such a good pitch to bat on, 35 of 19. Just look at the way he has batted in this inning so far. Tamim was a big disappointment. He would have enjoyed batting here had he stayed on. Had he not got dismissed at the very first delivery of this match. Not only that, also Shomoshaka getting dismissed of the very first delivery that he faced. Look at this. This is the fourth ball of the match and he's gone down the track. And the moment he knew that his dog ball has gone behind, he had no chance whatsoever to come back, back inside the crease. Such a good form, 200 in the one day nationals, three one day nationals that they played against the Windies. Carried his bat in the first match, 130 not out. Ball short. Shy at the stamps, they've been uh, unlucky because a number of opportunities were created. It's a couple of times that the ball struck the stump. Batsman would have found themselves not inside. But, uh, well, if you lose so early, wicket so early, then obviously you'll find your team not scoring runs, and especially when a man who has been in very good with the bat in the ODIs, Tamim Iqbal, gets out cheaply. That was the problem. with a ramp shot with third man up which was a, a really good option just four more for victory for the windies Seven for three. The bowlers did quite well tonight. Ashley Nurse, as Atali Khan spoke about, started things off beautifully, and Kimo Paul and the rest of the seamers came in admirably to keep picking up wickets. Stuart Law will be pleased man with some thinking to do between the two coaches Evan Lewis struggling for runs yeah Ashley knows only bowled one over the first one picked up both the openers you mentioned about Kimo Paul two for 24 what about Keswick Williams four for 28 and now and that magnificent catch in the outfield Victory for the defending world champions, the Windies. Another massive strike to close off this encounter. A good all-round performance by the men in Maroon to the thrills and delight of this crowd that has stayed on into the early Wednesday morning. She has enjoyed this. So has she. Victory by seven wickets under the dearest method for the Windies. And it's the over boundary, it's the maximum it brings to the Windies. Victory in the first uh, T20. Two more to be played, but it has been uh, dominated by bat. Earlier it was the ball and obviously it was uh, some power hitting from uh, Russell and uh, earlier it was uh, Samuels. Easy victory in the end by seven wickets by the world champions. And they'll be very happy to go. One up in a three match series. That's the winning shot. First delivery from Shakib al Hassan. And out she goes. Coming from the bat of uh, Rothman Powell, who also contributed pretty nicely. 15 and uh, two sixes does the trick for Windies. Such a powerful team.
their ball striking and their all-rounders. Devastating. Andre Russell went at close to seven and over with the ball, but he scored at over ten and over with the bat. Marlon Samuels played a very good hand in his first international showing of this home season. 26 from 13 deliveries. And it was Andre Russell, 35 from 21, along with his Jamaican counterpart, Rothman Powell, 15 from 9. That easily ushered the Windies home with uh, time to spit. They started with the media, son, and only one over, went for nine. Then most of his, it was uh, that fantastic over when he bowled a, a double wicket made an over. But uh, Hutt came back and uh, was uh, treated with some uh, disdain from the batters for 18. Shakib also expensive. Islam, expensive. That's the story. Bangladesh in the 20 over, managed to score only 143 for nine. And he's chasing it in 9.1 hours and winning uh, by seven wickets let's go down and uh, for the flash i'm here with superman i mean andre russell andre yourself power hitting synonymous today yet again showing your brilliance and power yeah of course um you know just want to give god praise um it's been a it's been a tough series for us in the odi um losing the games 2-1 um we know how important it is to try and you know just at least put back some pride in our game, you know, try and win this series 3-0. Um, That's the plan. So um, it was a very good knock for myself. Um, well played to Marlon as well. I think he really come take the pressure off me. And um, overall, it was a good win. Batting at number three, can we expect more of this? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it's been a while I haven't played the night, match, what, <laughs> the night watchman role. So um, it's good. It's good. You know, it's more time, more responsibility. And um, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I always think about opening in T20. Now getting closer, which is number three. So you never know. Maybe the second ball of the innings, you will be out there. Now it's a challenge to face the new ball. I'm up for it. You missed a couple of ODI matches. Are you 100% fit? How are you feeling and your injury? Um, I'm not a hundred. I wouldn't say I'm a hundred because, um, you know, when you're a hundred, then you can do whatever, do some Superman stuff and dive around. I'm, I'm a bit worried, but I'm like 95. I'm still um, not a hundred percent confident in like running and driving and doing certain things, but I'm, I'm happy enough to be playing. And I'm sure you're happy with the outcome. Can we expect a three nil victory from the Windies? Well, um, that's a plan. I'm not going to say yes, you can expect it because the ball is round. Um, Bangladesh is a very good team, we're not going to underestimate them. Um, but we just have to make sure that we take it game by game and try and close off the series in Florida. Great to see you in action, all the very best for the rest of the series. Yeah man, thank you. So victory for the Windies by seven wickets under the DLS method. One forty-three for nine to Bangladesh. Mamadula thirty-five, but they lost wickets quite regularly. With stymied them, uh, Williams very good four for twenty-eight. Kimo Paul two for twenty-four and a couple of wickets to nurse in the first over, and then the Windies in a restricted run chase, reduced overs, I should say, ninety-three to three. We'll take a short break and we'll come back for the presentation. Welcome back to St. Kitts uh, for this, uh, the first T20 International of the IP Windies versus Bangladesh series in 2018. Remember, this is powered by Minister co sponsor Marcel. As we start this uh, three match series, we had a delay of just about 30 minutes. Spectators uh, getting a little bit impatient because.